Hey guys, welcome to the channel. When buying a telescope, the most important factor taken into consideration is its aperture size. A bigger aperture will collect more light and gives crystal clear crisp images. But as the aperture size increases, the price of the telescope also increases. And if you buy a big aperture computerized telescope, then it becomes quite expensive, especially for beginners who are on a tight budget. The alternative to this is to use Dobson in telescopes. Dobson in telescopes were designed by John Dobson in 1965. They're non computerized, simple, and very cost effective. They're very easy to use and gather as much light as possible. A computerized 8 inch telescope will cost you around $14 to $1,600, but the same 8 inch Dobson in telescope will cost you around $5 to $700. One of the companies which manufacture these Dobson in telescopes is Orion. They have their SkyQuest series of Dobson in telescopes. The aperture size in this series starts from 4.5 inches and ends at 12 inches. When you use the classic SkyQuest telescopes, you have to navigate through the sky manually. While doing this, you do get familiar with the night sky, but sometimes it is difficult to find the object you're looking for. Sometimes you just don't want to spend time on the different objects while finding the object you want to see. To solve this, Orion introduced the Intelliscope series of telescopes. What is an Intelliscope? The Orion Intelliscope is a computerized object locator unit designed to complement the Orion SkyQuest XT Intelliscope series of Dobson in telescopes. The Intelliscope unit has an information base of 14,000 objects, which include nebula, galaxies, star clusters, double stars, planets, and more. When you connect an Intelliscope to a telescope, you still have to move the telescope manually. That's why it's called a Push 2 telescope. You have to enter the object you want to see and the telescope will guide you in which direction you should move the telescope to locate the object. This will save you a lot of time and you will still learn about navigating through the night sky. The Intelliscope Object Locator only works with the Orion SkyQuest and Telescope Series telescopes and not with SkyQuest Classic XT series. The Intelliscope Telescope aperture starts from 8 inch and the biggest aperture you can get with Intelliscope is 14 inch. Let's see what Orion SkyQuest XT8i telescope offers you. It has a reflector optical tube assembly with an aperture size of 203 millimeters and a focal length of 1200 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 5.9 and its primary mirror is parabolic, so there will be no aberrations. The telescope comes with two serious eyepieces. One is 25 millimeters and the other is 10 millimeters. The lowest useful magnification is 29 times, and the highest useful magnification is 300 times. The weight of the optical tube is 20.3 pounds, and the weight of the mount is 21.3 pounds. The total weight of the assembly is 41.6 pounds. With this telescope, you can see planets, nebula, and galaxies. Next telescope in the series is the Orion SkyQuest XT10i in telescope. It has an aperture size of 254 millimeters and a focal length of 1200 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 4.7, and its primary mirror is parabolic, so that there will be no aberrations. The telescope comes with two serious eyepieces. One is 25 millimeters, and the other is 10 millimeters. The lowest useful magnification is 36 times, and the highest useful magnification is 300 times. The weight of the optical tube is 28.9 pounds, and the weight of the mount is 26.3 pounds. The total weight of the assembly is 55.3 pounds. Deep space observation is excellent on this telescope. Next telescope in this series is the Orion SkyQuest XX12i in telescope. As 12 inch telescopes are bigger, they'll be very heavy. So to reduce the weight, a truss tube is used. These truss tubes give excellent strength and also significantly reduces the weight of the telescope. This truss tube is used on heavy telescopes. This telescope has an aperture size of 305 millimeters and a focal length of 1500 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 4.9 and its primary mirror is also parabolic, so there will be no aberrations. The telescope comes with one deep view eyepiece of 35mm and another high power eyepiece of 10mm. The lowest useful magnification is 42 times, and the highest useful magnification is 300 times. The weight of the optical tube is 49.5 pounds and the weight of the mount is 34 pounds. The total weight of the assembly is 83.5 pounds. If you love deep sky stargazing, then this telescope is for you. This telescope is known as a deep sky observer's dream telescope. 
The next telescope in this series is the Orion SkyQuest XT 14i telescope. This telescope allows you to see more detail than the SkyQuest XX 12i. This is also known as the Trust Tube Dawson Yen Telescope. It has an aperture size of 356 millimeters and a focal length of 1650 millimeters. Its focal ratio is 4.6 and its mirror is parabolic, like the previous telescopes. The telescope comes with one deep view eyepiece of 35 millimeters and another high power eyepiece of 10 millimeters. The lowest useful magnification is 47 times and the highest useful magnification is 300 times. The weight of the optical tube is 63.5 pounds and the weight of the mount is 44.5 pounds. The total weight of the assembly is 120 pounds. This telescope collects 36% more light than a 12 inch model and 96% more light than a 10 inch model, allowing you to see significantly fainter objects in more detail. The image detailing with this telescope will turn your night sky into an endless playground of deep space surprises. Which one should you buy? All of these telescopes are great as they have a bigger aperture size. If you're someone who wants a bigger aperture and have a limited budget, then these telescopes are for you. These telescopes are much cheaper than similar size computerized telescopes. If you are a beginner and you're not familiar with the night sky, then with these telescopes, you'll have fun. And at the same time, you'll learn to navigate through the night sky from a learning point of view. These are great telescopes for beginners. These telescopes are great in terms of optics and performance, but the only disadvantage with them is the size and especially weight of the telescope. With increase in aperture size, they get bigger and much heavier to move around. So before buying, do check out the total weight of these telescopes and whether you are comfortable carrying around that much weight. But if weight is not a problem for you, then these are great telescopes for the money you spend. I hope this video helped you to understand what exactly Orion and telescopes are. If it did, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more technology-related content. See you in the next video. Have a nice day, guys. Peace.